The recent centenary of the First World War has undoubtedly engaged people with this aspect of European history and indeed of world history. However, much of the focus during the centenary has really been on national histories, national approaches to the conflict. What we've had far less focus on has actually been individual lives and individual experiences. In Germany, just as in Britain, Catholics, Protestants and Jews all served at the front. Indeed, in the German army, 100,000 Jews served during the conflict. You get a really good glimpse of their experiences from this remembrance book that was published in 1920. Now, it lists the names of every German Jew from the city of Nuremberg who lost their lives in the First World War. The earliest names in the book are likely to have all been volunteers. For example, Paul Lehmann, he was killed in November 1914, but he'd only just left school. The names of the dead stretch all the way through to 1919. The very last person to be listed is that of Julius Hellmann. Now, he was a master butcher who died in American captivity in April 1919 probably from war wounds. Now Lehmann and Hellmann were just two of 12,000 German Jews who died fighting for Germany in the First World War. I should imagine that this book must have provided some comfort for their relatives, for their friends, for their families. The book though also had a much wider purpose. It had been designed as a means to combat anti-Semitism that had been growing in wartime Germany and spreading in the post-war years. We can see this really clearly from the second half of the book. Here there's letters published from those killed at the front and all the letters have really dramatic titles such as Baptism of Fire or On the Attack or even The First Battle. The letters themselves then hint really strongly at Jewish bravery, Jewish heroism at the front, and thus, in effect, they're challenging anybody who suggested or questioned Jewish loyalty towards Germany. What this history ultimately highlights is the diversity of German society at the time of the First World War. There was then not one single history of the conflict, there were many histories, sadly many of which have been forgotten.